Hi, welcome to Yoga by John Now. Today's class is day two for my wind down bedtime yoga class. So for today's classes, we're just going to be doing some nice gentle stretching just to relax your muscles and your body and also to relax your mind just so you can hopefully have a better rest tonight and be able to get a little bit better sleep. So for today's class, we will be needing your yoga mat and you may want to use a block. Um, just you don't need it, but it may just be helpful. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and get started in child's pose. Come on over to your hands and knees. Bring those toes together. Separate those knees out towards the sides of your mat. Take your bottom down towards your feet. Walk those hands forward. Bring that head down to your mat. Taking in a few breaths. You're going to take a nice deep inhale through your nose. You're going to do it to the camera four. And exhaling it out nice and slow. Go ahead and breathe again. And exhaling it out. During this time of breathing, go ahead and allow your mind to release all those things that you have that you're thinking about, anything that you're worrying about. Just allow yourself to let go. One more breath. And exhale again. Lifting the head up. Slowly walk those arms to your left. Getting a little bit of a stretch into that right side. Continue deep breathing, holding it for four seconds, and then exhaling it out for four seconds. And noticing that stretch. Continuing to quiet that mind. And we're going to walk those arms to the right side. Getting a stretch on that left side of your body. Create a space for yourself. No judgment. Release any thoughts, judgments that you've made today. And just be present in this moment and focus on your breath. Bring those hands to the middle. Going to take your right arm and you're going to thread it through the open space between your hand and your body. Bring that head down to the mat. Allowing yourself to get a little bit of upper body stretch and a little bit of spinal twist. Again, focusing on your breath. Inhale in. And exhaling it out. One more breath. And exhaling it out. We're going to switch over to the opposite side. Coming back up onto your hands and knees into tabletop, having those wrists underneath of those shoulders. You want your hips and your knees in alignment as well. I'm just going to do a few cat and cows. I'm going to inhale and you're going to drop that abdominal area down, putting an arch in your back, lifting your head forward and exhaling it out, rounding that back, blow it all the way out. Get a little bit of movement here in that lower back and exhaling it out. And bring those abdominal muscles in a little bit, tighten them up. And exhaling it out once more. We're going to cross our feet 
at our ankles. And we're going to bring, get your block ready. You're going to come down into a seated position. Now I'm going to turn and face you, but you may continue to stay the way that you are. We're going to open those legs, bring that block in front of you. I want you to just bring your head down to your block, bring your forehead onto your block. You don't have to use a block, you can just come forward and stretch to what you can. Bring those hands directly on the ground and just allow your body to just sink into this position. No stress, no pain, just relaxing and breathing. And exhale it out. I'm going to slowly lift that head up. I'm going to move your block out of the way this time. We're going to come over to the opposite leg. Just gently getting a little stretch in that side of that body again. to that right side. And coming back up to seated position. Bringing those legs together. Again, you should still be turned the other way. I'm just going to turn around onto my mat. Bringing those legs together, we're going to go ahead and lower ourselves down to the ground. Making sure to notice how your body is being supported by the ground. Taking in a few breaths. And bring those feet so that the soles of your feet are firmly rooted on the ground. All four corners should be on the ground. We're going to inhale and lift into a bridge, lifting up through that pelvis. We're going to go ahead and lift one vertebra at a time off of the ground. And exhaling it back down, lowering one vertebra at a time as well. And inhale, lift. And exhaling it down. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhaling it down. Opening those arms out to the side. I'm going to go ahead and just lower those knees, keeping those knees bent. Lower those knees to your right. And you're going to turn your gaze to your left. We're just going to hold here. In this position, continue to keep your mind quiet. Block all distractions, all thoughts. Continue to keep those out of your mind. Just focusing in on your breath and relaxation. With each inhale, Pay attention to your breath. Notice how as you inhale, your abdomen swells up like a balloon. And as you exhale, it deflates. Bring those knees back up to center. Lower them down to the left. Rotating your head to the right. And hold. Depending on your inhales, 
You notice how your abdomen swells. You know, your exhales. You notice how your abdomen deflates. back to center. We're going to bring that left leg over your right knee. Just gently pull it back into a um, figure four stretch. You can take your hands and your thigh and gently pull just to get a little bit of stretch. Stretching out those glutes. And relax. Switching, placing that right ankle on that left thigh, bringing that in towards your chest, if you can, and getting a nice little stretch. Lowering those legs down to the ground, turn those palms up towards the ceiling. I'm going to go ahead and lie in Shavasana. And let's focus on our breathing. We're going to inhale for four, hold it for two, exhale it for six. One, inhale, two, three, four, hold for two, one, two, exhale it, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do that one more time. We're going to inhale for four, hold for two, exhale for six. In the effort, we are trying to calm that nervous system down, relax that whole body. We're going to inhale one, two, three, four, hold your breath. One, two, exhale it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead, return to your normal breathing at this time. Notice how your body is supported by the ground. Notice how that feels. Take notice of where your body contacts the ground. Notice if your body feels heavy lying on the ground. Now, notice how light your body feels lying on the ground. Relax your jaw, relax your whole face, including the area between your eyelids. Release the tension in your arms and your fingers. Relax your thighs, your legs, and your feet. Release all tension that you're holding in your body. Just be. You can begin to bring movement back into your fingers and toes, and you are welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you need prior to getting up. I want to just thank you so much for joining me in class today. I hope that this class will help you indeed find more rest and relaxation so that you can 
get a better night's sleep.